Trigger warning. Arranged marriage. Coming out. Societal norms. TIFU by telling my parents I was gay. I avoided their arranged marriage proposals. So I'm pretty straight. Maybe slightly bi if we count femboy. Let's get that out of the way first. I'm also an Indian American male around 26 years of age. I'd also like to clear up some misconceptions around arranged marriage. A lot of non-Indians seem to think it's literally your parents choosing who you marry. And that's true, but that's not really the case. Instead, it's more like your parents tap their network to find potential partners for you. If you like each other's pictures, then you guys meet in person, and then you decide whether or not you want to get married. So basically, your parents are Tinder, and you get a meeting or two to decide whether or not you want to get married. It's not quite as bad as many of you think it is, but the whole process feels super rushed, and I'd rather date someone before I figure out if we're compatible or not. Anyway, my parents have recently been getting on my case about getting married. Apparently I'm getting older and need to settle down and give them grandchildren or something like that. Basically, every time I see them, which is fairly often since they live close by, they have a new potential match for me, a picture of some new girl, and ask me if I'd be willing to meet her. It's honestly super annoying, but I'm too non-confrontational to really put my foot down and say I don't want an arranged marriage. After all, if I did, there'd be an argument or at least some interrogation about why I don't want one. Anyways, I was thinking of ways I could get them to stop harassing me about getting married, and the idea in the title popped up in my head. I decided it'd be a lot easier to just come out as gay than to explain why I didn't want an arranged marriage. My parents were fairly conservative but weren't the types to disown their kids, and if I just said I was gay, I'd have a solid reason to not get an arranged marriage. I didn't like girls. Suuuu. That's what I ended up doing last time I was visiting. They were showing me pictures of some girls, and I just looked them in the eyes and said, Mom, Dad, I'm gay. They got really quiet and awkward and asked me if I was sure, and I said yes. My mom told me they'd love me no matter what and to do what makes me happy. My dad was a lot more awkward and quiet, but later gave me a similar talk about how he was a bit uncomfortable with the idea, but recognized that times are changing and I should do what makes me happy. Overall, I did feel kind of bad because of how genuinely my parents seemed to respond to me but I was happy with the result. They stopped giving me arranged marriage proposals and stopped showing me pictures of girls. That is, until last weekend. I visited them as usual, and was greeted by my mom, who was more excited than usual. She sat me down and pulled out a binder with a bunch of pictures of guys. Apparently, my parents had spent the last month or so looking for any and all gay Hindu Indian men who I could potentially marry. So now I guess I'm dealing with the exact same SHT, but instead of being greeted with pictures of cute Indian girls, I get to see pictures of gay Indian dudes instead. F my life, lol. At this point, the plan is to either find a girlfriend and tell my parents she totally turned me straight or maybe marry a twink or something. I told my parents I was gay so they would stop pestering me with arranged marriage matches and start looking for potential gay suitors instead. Update. Hey everyone. I don't know if you remember me, but I'm the dude who came out as gay to avoid an arranged marriage. Anyway, I have an update for you guys. I read all the comments on the original post, from the people telling me to just tell my parents, questioning whether or not I was really straight, laughing at the admittedly fairly funny situation I'd gotten myself into, and a couple of people who were straight up mean. At the end of the day, though, posting here probably gave me the final push to do something. The weekend after I'd made the post, I visited my parents as always and resolved to tell them the truth. However, when I got there, my mom always pushed the binder into my hands, and I kind of lost my resolve to tell her. I decided to just play along. It was then that I remembered the people on this thread who made fun of me for liking femboy and questioned whether or not I was really straight. I kind of took that to heart and decided to look at the binder of dudes in earnest to see if I liked any of them. TBH, I'm really glad I did. Most of the dudes were unattractive, as expected, but I found a dude on there who I legitimately think is cuter and more feminine than the vast majority of girls I've seen. I told my mom I liked him, and she kind of joked around asking me what the point of being gay was when I wanted a dude who looked like a girl anyway. She talked to his parents, we had a meeting set up over Zoom, and overall, it went really well. Me and him have a bunch of common interests. We're both massive weebs and history nerds, and he also disclosed that he apparently cross-dressed in private, which only made me like him more. In the end, though, we both decided we didn't want to rush into marriage and wanted to do a dating trial of sorts. I told my parents, and they were fine with it. My dad literally just told me that as long as we have marriage as an eventual goal and don't have SX before marriage, they don't mind if we date. Y'all, literally, this whole SHT show could have been avoided, though I'm kind of glad it wasn't. Luckily, he lived in the same state as me, but he was still a three, four-hour drive away, 
so mostly we've just had Discord calls and spent time together gaming for the past few weeks. This said, though, we finally managed to meet up in person and have a date, and honestly, I think I'm kind of in love. Dudes are cuter than any girl I've ever met, but unlike most girls, he's actually into the same things I am. Anyway, we ended up having a great day out on set, and I ended up staying at his place over the weekend. Though surprisingly, I kept my promise to my dad and somehow avoided having SX. Anyway, yeah, I'm now back home and extremely happy with my decision to lie to my parents. Then again, is it really lying if it turns out to be true? I really, really do like him and will probably ask him to marry me a couple months from now if nothing goes wrong. I guess I was really gay all along. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoy listening to these kinds of stories, we've got more in store for you. Simply subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and share it with your friends.